This is too cute. Look at her toddler. She touching the machine, trying to learn how to sew. I love the slow walk up to the sewing machine because it's so realistic. It is so realistic. It's like two in the morning now. We started at nine. <laughs> wow. I pay for this before I pay for a kit. <clears throat> the sun is coming up so I can throw a little shade. Greetings and salutations, y'all. It's your girl, the Sarah O. Thank you for stopping by on this video. We are here today with a mod review of Ozzy and Miriam's retro sewing machine mod. Y'all, this shit looks dope as hell. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and read through the description real quick before I hop into gameplay and show you guys how this awesome mod looks in game. So um, it does not conflict with anything. There are no script files. Um, means that any low poly laptop or computer can handle it. It says there are 68 new interactions, sewing level, or excuse me, sewing skill level level 10, um, five plus buffs, seven functional objects and seven animations, six new sim animations, one designer trait, six wearable and sellable functional object clothing. So um, there are some files and it says that do not upload the full mod as translations, only strings. Um, it will be available to the public on February 15th, so the day after Valentine's Day. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. It says that designers, these sims are good with anything that involves revamping, reshaping, sewing, pattern drawing, and overall fabulousness. Imagine Picasso, but armed with scissors and the gift of turning a, a curtain <laughs> to a ball gown. A true icon. Their custom pieces have a range from couches, shoes, nail art, clothes, interior decorating, and many more. They are not your basic chicas, but fashion icons with determination to make their statement through art. And you also get a new skill, which is in sewing. Y'all can read that if you want to, but these are extra popping. So teaching other sims unlocks at level two of the sewing skill, and you can make sure that kids and babies are near it so that you can do so. You can also um, sell your custom pieces, draw some designs, and go viral after posting your clothes on Simstagram, SimTalk, and Tweezer. Um, so if you sew without practicing and gaining skill level six, you will destroy your fabric and have to buy new units to restock half the time if not at all so this is awesome this is what it's gonna look like in game it looks super sleek and modernness i think i can definitely fit this into most of my sim houses as you guys can see here it's the interactions i will show you guys a little bit more of that in game um and there are also actual materials that you need you need fabric units zippers thread bundles buttons all of these things before you can actually start sewing which definitely adds that level of realism that you need to the game so um there are different patterns designs skills awesome clothing um it looks like you need to set up an etsy shop to sell and then post your clothing regularly on social media or grow a following enough to make a sale so there is a buffer going viral and the more you post, the higher your chances of selling every um, fashion. Wait, what? <laughs> the more you post, the higher your chances of selling every fashion item needing to know your name. Whatever. All right, so these look good. Um, toddler clothes, you can set active sim as a toddler to wear the cloth, or you can pick any toddler as an adult to dress. And you can also wear these clothing yourself. So this is a little toddler in one of the clothes. They have unsuccessful sales. Um, they will add any information on if you need it. They have a little toddler here. I'll probably just add a random toddler into my household that I'm going to play with today to show you guys what it looks like. But I'm very excited and we're going to go ahead and hop into gameplay and shout out to all of the creditors right here. Um, we're going to hop over to The Sims 4 and I'm going to show you guys what this looks like in game. All right, y'all, we're back with um, Lily, who is my new sim for my upcoming Let's Play. So subscribe if you have not already so you can see her again in all of her poppiness. But she is going to be our sim for um, today's mod review. I'm going to be in build mode to start off because I want y'all to see how um, the actual sewing kit looks in game. I say sewing kit, sewing machine. And it's dark as hell right now, and I didn't feel like waiting till the morning, so we move um this is what it looks like there are all these other colors as you guys saw on patreon i wanted to just show you guys kind of what it looks like in game um there's this tannish color this like orange and black color kind of brown uh oh this one fancy okay i didn't even look at this one hold up i'm over here fucking up yes this is cute i like this so this kind of like purplish fancy one um that they have as an option 
um they have this nice sleek um black one and then this also this black one with um some decor on it so it's honestly super duper nice you guys as you can see like there was a lot of attention put into this mod and to the um decor of the sewing machine so i love that so i'm gonna go ahead into live mode in a second and show you guys what the mod looks like in game all right y'all so we're here in live mode i told you guys it's nighttime in my game that's why it looks all dark um but i'm gonna go ahead and have lily come over to this sewing area so that she can practice it says practice on paper um check supplies we do have to buy them oh not Emily coming in. Okay, Emily is a toddler. That's her niece that she's gonna be taking care of, but back to the mod. <laughs> Check supplies, um, patterns and design, retro sewing and teach others. So I'm gonna have her practice on paper first um, so that you guys can kind of see what that looks like because I have not done anything with this mod. Um, so, oh my God, the seating was so cute. Her sitting down was perfect. Okay, so she's over here. I know that's right okay she really over here doing the thing she's sewing she's practicing on paper so as you guys can see obviously she does not know how to sew her sewing level is at zero um but she's currently practicing her sewing skill on a piece of paper which i think is so smart and so cute i'm glad that they added this little feature on there it looks really realistic and the animations are on point, you know. You would think the Sims team could add some new animations every now and then, but <laughs> let me keep the shade when it's sunny and not dark outside. Um, but yeah, I'm loving this. Like practicing on the piece of paper is definitely something that is gonna help her skill gain. I'm gonna see if she went ahead and already, like, there we go, acquired this um, sewing skill. So it says, let me pause it. Lily's new skill in sewing will allow her to get familiar with the vintage sewing machine the higher the skill level the more the more chances of sewing a wearable and so sew sewable piece so here okay we got practice uh let me she's new this is like a new sim that i made so she ain't got no skills but it's okay period okay i love that because her um aspiration right now is to become a world famous stylist and what other thing what she needs besides the sewing machine she has her little design board up here from her job so it's about to be on and popping, period. Um, so it says teach others. There is a teach others option. And she does have her niece. She is going to be taking care of her niece in this Let's Play. And they have been beefing all day, y'all. It's been a mess, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to let her go ahead and get Emily. Let me show y'all. Let me show off Emily. Not this little girl is over here. Look at her face. In the middle of a mod review. How are you going to mess up? This is why it's fuck them kids sometimes, y'all, because this is too much. Anyways, while um, Lily goes to clean that up, where is she going? Oh, my gosh. She is all over the place. All right, y'all. Mess cleaned up. Emily just being childish. Whatever. <laughs> Let's teach our toddler, Emily, as y'all see, her little badass right here, ready to join. Um, oh, oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Pause. Oh, not that I put this right. Okay, there we go. Oh. Oh, this is cute. This is such a... Oh, that was it? Oh, that was quick. Okay, I kind of messed up. I should have got the right angle. Oh my God, now the toddler has the sewing skill. It says Emily's new skill in sewing will allow her to get familiar with the vintage sewing machine. The higher the skill level, the more chance of sewing a wearable and sellable piece. And sellable piece. All right, this time I'm gonna have her try to teach her again and get the right angle on it. So let me, let me try again from scratch. <laughs> okay. Get my angles right. Oh y'all, look at her little teeth. <laughs> look, at her, look at her little teeth she ain't got no teeth that's so cute okay let me stop this is too cute look at her toddler she touching the machine trying to learn how to sew you can't do nothing but you learning girl starting when they young her niece looks so cute they about to just be running the town yeah look at her so now she has a little bit of the sewing skill the toddler does get the sewing skill 
when they get taught by somebody older, which I think is adorable. And it makes it way more convenient for when, you know, they become a child and they can obviously use it too. I do not have a child in this household, but I'm sure somebody else is going to review this bomb ass mod and show you guys what it looks like um, with a child. Um, so check supplies. Um, I did remember they say you have to buy supplies to make anything. So I'm going to go ahead and buy one of everything, buy a fabric buy some buttons, buy some thread and needle, and last but not least, buy some zippers. So I'm gonna see if it's gonna go into her actual inventory. Okay, she put out her little phone, plum fruit, period. Okay. Hmm. Emily just looking at her. Okay, fabric, Lily without fabric or Lily Freeman without fabric, there is nothing to sew unless you prefer to stare at your machine all day and all. Okay, so she got her fabric per. Let's see if she can get her buttons next. Okay, Lily Freeman, you need buttons. Some clothes cannot be made without buttons. Thread it. Lily Freeman, how can one sew without thread and needles? Glue. Trust me, you need the bundle. And last but not least, zip it up. <laughs> Lily Freeman, a zipper a day makes the clothes stay. We do not want a nip slip. <laughs> Scandalous. I love this. Okay, so here um, we have our, I think it should be in our inventory, so let me check. Okay, maybe it's not. Okay, so I think it goes into the sewing it goes into the sewing kit inventory, which is so convenient because you know these sim inventories be full of a whole bunch of BS by the end of a long let's play. Oh, look at them being so cute. Okay, I guess they're not beefing no more. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm, girl. And then I taught you how to sew, and now you know how to sew. Period. They having a whole conversation. I don't know about what. Oh. Damn, she embarrassed. Okay. Not they beefing. I told y'all they didn't like each other. Anyways, um, her sleep is down. Cheat. Okay. I did check inventory, but I don't see... I don't think anything popped up. Let me try it again. Okay. Check inventory. Fabric, 12 units. Um, buttons, 12. Okay, so you get 12 of everything the first time you order it, which is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and sew toddler jumpsuit. Let's see if she can do that. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I can't do that. You need to draw us design first. Not Emily is back here all stretched out. She going through it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, draw a toddler jumpsuit. Okay, we gonna make Emily a new outfit. Emily's backstory, you know, she had her mom and dad and they both died. Um, so now she's being taken care of by her awesome auntie Lily. But Lily is drawing. All right, so she's drawing the toddler jumpsuit. And I love how much attention to detail um, is paid in this mod because that was definitely a toddler jumpsuit sketch. And Emily over here watching, she like, girl, let me go ahead and check out these movelets. I didn't check any of them. Apologies. Um, this first movelet says buy fabric from buying fabric. Ah, fabric check. Now nothing is stopping me from sewing to my heart's content. So many ideas. Flawless pieces from drawing patterns and designs. The lines, a snip here and there and we are done. These will fit all shapes and sizes, they must. She always has this movelet because she's a designer. I really need to get to Fenty by Rihanna status. I should get to drawing designs ASAP from thinking about trending designer fits. Lily appreciates all the finer things in life, but most important is to claw to the top and start a fashion brand. Perhaps doing some creative work like drawing patterns will be soothing. So that's what she's trying to do, period. Her niece do not like her. Like she be beefing her all day. What's wrong with her? Is she sick? She ate crayons, y'all. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, y'all, I am putting Emily to sleep because she was doing the most just then. But let's go back <laughs> to Lily. Um, she's getting ready to sew her a little toddler jumpsuit for her, you know, next morning. Um, she looked kind of fed up and tired, but, you know, she's trying to be a good aunt and help out her niece to be cute. But I'm loving this, honestly. The animations are awesome. It looks so realistic, like the fabric itself looks like it's moving i'm so excited to see what this toddler jumpsuit looks like you can even see like the feet are moving the bottom of the sewing machine is moving ozzy and mirror what that this looks amazing it looks like a 3d 
literally 3D in the game. I'm loving it, especially because I like my game looking a little, a little bit of realistic, but still cartoonish because it's a cartoon game. But I love this. I love this. Like, look at this cute ass toddler jumpsuit with the blue hanger. She about to get up. Okay. Okay. Period. Is she gonna hang it up? Yup. She is so proud of it. I'm so proud of her. Yes, Lily. Yes, she made. made her first. She made her first piece of clothing, um, and it is a piece of toddler wear for her niece. This looks really cute. Um, let me see what options pop up when I click on it. So it says, "Pick toddler to wear. Set up Etsy shop. Simstagram it. Sim talk it. Tweet it, or put it in the inventory." I'm gonna try all three. So let's see what happens when she does Simstagram. Okay, it says, oh, looks like a few Sims are following Lily. I wonder what would happen if the creation would be shared on Etsy. Um, let's do it. Let's, well, okay. Simstagram, Simtalk, sweet. She gonna do all the social media platforms because she has to. It says, looks like a few Sims are following Lily. I think it might be the same for all of them. Um, it says, set up Etsy shop. I kind of want her to try it on another piece. So instead of that one, I'm going to have her, I don't know why she keeps going to this poly pocket, but whatever says draw gown designs or satin jumpsuit. Let's do gown feeling extra. Let's do it. So she's going to draw some gown designs for us next. She's drawing it. As you guys can see, like the designs literally popping up, which is awesome. I think that it's really adds a little bit of flair to the mod because it looks exactly like the actual design is about to look when she's done creating it like okay so she's up she's ready oh why is emily oh, i'm just gonna leave her alone okay um so now that she has that she can sew her gown so let's see how that looks i love the slow walk up to the sewing machine because it's so realistic it is so realistic. She has her blue, her blue cloth sewing away. Go ahead and sew to your heart's content, Lily. Sew it up. She's sewing to the morning hours, y'all. To the wee hours in the morning. It's like two in the morning now. We started at nine. <laughs> wow. It looks like a Cinderella ball gown. I can't wait for when they add because they are going to be updating this mod and things like that later in the future. So when they add even more clothes, um, once again, this mod does not um, get released to the public until February 15th, but it's popping. Y'all, you know, support these modders in the Sims community and, you know, subscribe to them on Patreon because honestly, I pay for this before I pay for a kit. <clears throat> The sun is coming up so I can throw a little shade. Uh, let's go ahead. <laughs> let's go ahead and yes. Okay, I'm gonna have her. Okay, she reached level two. So she made two pieces, two designs. She's level two. Lily now has a 15% chance of making a fashion statement piece. Practice makes perfect. I am so excited to continue playing with this mod once I start my let's play, cause this is gonna fit right in with her stylist career. So um, it says wear it. I'm gonna have her wear it before she sets up the shop cause I don't know if it'll disappear, but let's see what it looks like on her. Did it disappear? Oh, no, it went on her. Oh, it's not the most flattering thing on her, but the dress looks exactly the same, like the same way it did on the sewing machine, which is amazing. Like, I'm loving it. It's giving ball gown. It's giving royal-esque, you know, periods. It's giving Disney princess a little bit. I still like her other outfit, but it's still cute. Let me see um, if you have to take it off or if it becomes like a part of your everyday outfit once you have it on. All right, it looks like it does become a, a part of your like new everyday outfit look. I'm gonna go ahead and change her outfit. Let me check though. You know, I'll be using MCC for everything. Yeah, so when you put on the piece of clothing, it then becomes your new everyday outfit. Or does it become your outfit the whole time? There has to be a way to take it off. 
There has to be. Because not all of the clothings are... <laughs> not all of her outfits are um, the dress. So let's see. All right, y'all. So it looks like it might be a little bit of a glitch for now. They will be working it out. It is only released on Patreon. So these kinks most likely will be fixed by the time it goes public but it looks like when you change into the dress it does turn all of your other clothes into that piece of clothing but it's fine i'll just go back to where i had saved previously so that her outfits come back so i don't gotta redo them again but um yes yeah, so basically this is what it looks like um it says check supplies um she can still buy more supplies there are other patterns that she can draw or that she can draw out and sew i just don't want to do it for the sake of this video because it's going be super long um but i'm gonna see if she can set up an etsy etsy shop with this toddler jumpsuit and see if it disappears or if it just shows up as an option for someone to buy it says lily just opened an etsy shop damn soon the money will rain so it looks like that's what happens um i'm gonna go ahead and put this on emily so that we can end it out both in our new outfits from this amazing sewing mod um, of course she made another mess because she's just, she's just going through it, y'all. We're going to let Emily live. All right. So it looks like she's in the outfit, even though she's, she's been so moody, this whole mod review. Oh, she had a nightmare. I'm going to just delete the mod for now or the moodlet for now. Um, but now she looks like she's in a better mood. I'm going to try to get them to hop into a quick pose to end out the mod review. All right, y'all, I went ahead and got them in some cute poses so that they could show off their freshly sewn outfits. Emily in her nice toddler jumpsuit and Lily in her wonderful, beautiful blue ball gown. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mod review. Um, I will be linking the obviously mod <laughs> in the description box. So make sure that you check it out and support your fellow simmers who are adding some great things to the game. I'm super excited to continue playing with this um, in my let's play that I'm going to be coming out with in a couple weeks called Polly Pocket. So make sure to, you know, subscribe if you haven't and like this video if you enjoyed this a little bit chaotic mod review. <laughs> and um, yes, that's all I got to say. Hope you guys have a great day and see you on the next one. Bye.